Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I thought we should sit down and have a chat, because things have been kind of non-existent on the YouTube channel here as of late, and I wanted to kind of explain what's going on. Some of you who follow me on Twitter will already know, and those who don't, well, you'll know at the end of this video. So before we get into anything else, let's do a little housekeeping here. The video on your screen right now should be from the game Defiance. Some of you might remember that I played Defiance during its free-to-play weekend a few months ago, and I threw down a bold challenge to try on Worlds. I said, try on, put this game on sale for $5, and I will buy it. They did just that, and I lived up to my end of the bargain. I purchased Defiance when I found it on sale on Green Man Gaming for 5 bucks. I have to say I'm really happy with the game. I'm still kind of in the same place I was at the end of the video when I played it in the free-to-play weekend in terms of my feelings and my progress. I've only played about an additional hour of the game since purchasing it, but it's still a solid third-person shooter with all the MMO trimmings. I enjoy it quite a bit. It isn't going to redefine my gaming experience. It's not the next MMO that's going to take over my life or anything like that because that can't happen anymore, but... It's a solid game. I'll come back to it from time to time. I'll play it every now and then. I'll enjoy it. It's going to be money well spent. And I always enjoy giving my money to developers like Tryon, who I really respect and who I think generally get it right with their business models and with the uh, content that they provide to us, the gamer. All right, so with that out of the way, we can get down to business. I got a few things that I want to cover in this video, including uh, video content. Where has it been? Where is it going? the changes to YouTube recently, as well as uh, sort of the future here on the channel, not just in video content, but in general. What is the future? What does it hold? So I want to start things off by delving into what's been going on with the channel for the last year. So we're going to get a little personal. If you don't care about that, if I'm just a voice on a YouTube video to you, then feel free to ignore this. But I am real and I have feelings and things happen in my life that aren't recorded and posted online. So we'll talk a little bit about that right now. So in late 2012, I put the channel on hiatus, an indefinite hiatus, while I sorted out my moving situation, my job relocation, selling a house, all this great stuff that happens when you're an adult and large companies decide that they just want to shuffle things around just for the hell of it. So we finally got that house sold. We finally got relocated to Charlotte, North Carolina in August of 2013. Things were going well. I resumed video content in September of 2013. I launched my show Devlog, which really hit in a great way. It's a series that I'm extremely proud of and that I plan to continue full force going forward. It's going to be the main focus of the channel along with first impressions videos, so get ready for that. Then right in the middle of this return to form, I got an opportunity. A job presented itself within the same company, but several hours south in the great state of South Carolina, in Columbia, in fact, the capital of the Palmetto State, and I had to take it. Unfortunately, this meant relocating my family for the second time in two months, and this created a great, uh, fantastically huge deal of stress, and this just meant that video content could not happen. It was not a priority. The only presence that I continued was my Twitter presence, and I just stopped making videos altogether. I didn't even make a video saying, I've got to stop making videos. The transition was that quick. So that's where we are right now. We have relocated once again, and we're finally settled in, and I think I'm ready to return to content. Now, before you think, well, okay, you're going to get some other job or something else is going to happen in your personal life, no, I can't. No other upheaval can happen for the rest of this year or all of next year or the next or the next. I need some stability and some normalcy in my life. And for me, that means returning to regular content here on this channel. It's part of what I consider to be me. It is my personality. It is an aspect of who I am. I am a guy who makes videos on YouTube. Even though I'm not a guy who is famous for making videos on YouTube, that's what I do and I enjoy it so much that I can't stop. It's part of who I am. And returning to video content really means returning to a normal life. And that was why you saw me delve back in, just jump back in with both feet to content in September and October as I launched Devlogged and returned to my first impressions. And I felt 
whole once again. So I'm going to try to get back to that now by returning to content here now in December, here at the end of 2013, and start 2014 in the right way. This isn't one of those things where, oh, I just got neglectful and I stopped making videos. Major life events occurred, which meant that this was not an option. I hope that you guys understand that, and I hope that you'll take this ride with me as I kind of start back up again. All right, so that got a little sappy there at the end, but that's the personal stuff over with. Let's get down to business. And if we're on YouTube and we're talking about business, then there's only one thing that's been talked about for the last few weeks, and that is the changes to the MCNs, the multi-channel networks. These were talked about for a long time. They were delayed several times, and they finally happened. I'm not going to explain this stuff to you. Total Biscuit has a nice video on it. Angry Joe rants about it in the way that only he can. Go watch those guys. They will explain to you exactly what's going on. All I really want to say on this subject is welcome to my world. I am not a partnered channel. I've worked for an MCN. I worked for TGN for a while. I produce content on their hub channels, on their main channel and their Rift channel, but I was never actually partnered. My channel is not partnered in any way. I don't monetize any of my videos. If you see ads on my videos, it's because there was a content ID match that forced that video to be monetized. I don't put ads on my videos, not only because I can't, but because this is just a hobby for me. It's not something where I'm attempting to make any amount of money off of it. It's just something that I love doing and I enjoy doing. And uh, that's the end of it. So I don't attempt to monetize my videos. I don't attempt to get partnered. I don't go out there and try to make a case for myself. Frankly, my numbers are not partner worthy. But I've been subject to this system for a long time. The content ID system is broken. And I'm glad that a lot of these YouTubers are now bringing that to light. Because it's something I've been dealing with for a while. Now, I will say that it is being exploited because YouTube made no bones about it. They were very public with what they were going to do with the MCNs. This meant that certain groups were on a recruiting blitz lately. Groups like Merlin, for one, which is a group that has content ID matched several things in my videos in the last few days. Nothing changed about my channel. My channel did not come out from the umbrella of an MCN, but I started getting content ID matches right around the time that things changed with YouTube, about a week before uh, the actual changes took place. I got my first hit, and I've been getting hits occasionally ever since then. What happened is these, uh, these firms went out, and they heavily recruited composers especially, because music is the easiest thing to content match. It's static. A song is a song. It doesn't change. Active gameplay, a visual of active gameplay changes. Now, cutscenes are easy to match, but active gameplay is not. So the thing that you generally get matched on is sound. It might be sound from a, uh, from a clip or a trailer that has been put out by a PR department so they know exactly the content of that trailer and they can create an algorithm that will match it. But it's mostly songs. What these groups have been doing is they've been going out to these artists who are probably barely making enough money to survive and saying... You own copyrights that are worth a lot more than what you're actually receiving on those. We want to make that money for you. There are people out there who are posting entire albums of your work on YouTube for free. And some of these people are even monetizing it and making money off of your work. We got to stop this. It's a great pitch. And it should be stopped in the instances where it is blatant. But a lot of these folks are composers that have worked on multimedia projects or especially games. They have been sucked into this, many of them. These guys come up and they say, we'll take your whole SoundCloud. It's not even a problem. You just give us permission. We take your whole SoundCloud, every song you have on there, and we create. We have YouTube create the algorithms. We make the matches. We slap an ad on that video. We slap a, a link to buy the MP3 off of, uh, off of Bandcamp or off of iTunes, and we're making money. We're making, we're making money. We're doing that. We're making money, right? We're making money. Well, the problem is Content ID Match doesn't know the difference between a song that's being used in the context of a game for which the developer of the game has licensed or in many cases commissioned an original soundtrack for the game. So that's part of the game. If I'm doing a critical piece, if I'm using footage from that game under fair use, then I'm allowed to use that music as it's part of that property. But the Content ID Match system doesn't know that. So if I stop talking or if I do what I, I like to do in videos that have really good music, when a game has great music, I say, hey, let's stop. Shh, quiet. Let's listen to this music because it's great. That's the perfect opportunity for the content ID system to make a match. And that's what it does. And that's what it's been doing to me for years. It has increased. I've had about four in the last two weeks, 
three weeks. Uh, but All right. Let's hope the good, the, the silver lining here, apart from these guys who are making themselves look like idiots, the silver lining here is that this is now being brought out to the attention of people. Now that these actual money makers are being subject to the system that has been in place for so long, now maybe some progress will get made. I hate the content ID match system. Uh, I don't necessarily know a better way to make it work, but there's got to be something and it's got to be worth looking into. So hopefully all this ruckus is going to result in uh, something happening, something happening to reshape or redesign the content ID match system and just generally make that sort of stuff better. It doesn't affect me at all, at least not monetarily, but it's still a hassle. It's still something that I have to go through as a content creator that I shouldn't need to go through. Wow, okay, so that got a little ranty and went on way too long, so let's finish things out here. Now, all that's not a problem for me because I'm a nobody on YouTube, but hey, maybe that's changing because I was recently featured on Pixel Prospector's big list of YouTubers, which is now hosted on videogamecaster.com, and basically this has meant that I am now getting found randomly by PR firms and by indie developers who are just trying to do a PR buzz on their game, and I'm getting review copies of games. It's been really, really interesting. Yeah, now I actually have some kind of strange and complex feelings about this, but I can't bog this video down by talking about that stuff, so maybe we'll do it another time. Maybe I'll make this more of a regular feature, uh, though probably not, because no one's going to watch this video. So, yeah, what does it mean for the channel, really? It means that we're going to see more games closer to the release, or you may even see some release day stuff. A game like Bionic Dues, I had that... Uh, I had a preview build of that, so I was ready with my video on release day and uh, currently playing the beta of Frozen Endzone, and I had the beta before it was open and uh, really loving that game, by the way. So there's going to be more coverage coming of, of more relevant games. It's not just going to be me picking a random game from my Steam backlog and playing it for you guys. It's actually going to be relative and uh, relevant to the stuff that's coming up. So it should be really cool. Uh, as I said, I've got some complex feelings on it, but uh, now is not the time to discuss those. So let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Let's let's clean it up. Let's finish it off. I got a little ranty there in the middle, and we've gone way too long. I know you guys aren't even watching anymore. So uh, first of all, let's just do some quick hits here. Let's hit some things that are going to be happening on the channel. Video content. We're going to have Uzi Earth Adventure. That's a traditional old school platformer. That is done. That video is complete. That will be posted in the next couple of days, so look forward to that. I'm also working pretty hard on a Race the Sun video. I've had a couple of false starts on that, but I'm going to knock something out in the next couple of days and probably post that by the weekend or maybe early next week, depending on how things go. Also, I have Pixel Piracy, which is a game that has just hit Steam and Early Access. It is a roguelike pirate simulator. It's pretty crazy, and uh, so far I'm highly impressed by it. I've got a couple of other things. What else do I have? Hmm. Well, there are a few things brewing here and there, but the other major thing is devlogged. I'm going to be bringing it back, or bringing it back, I mean, I'm just going to be doing a new episode of it. It's going to be episode five. It's going to be a recap. It's going to be a look back. We're going to catch up with some of the projects that really stood out in the first four episodes. I'll try to do as much as I can in terms of uh, updates. If, if they have new content, I will try to provide it. After episode five, I'm going to kind of pause that show just briefly so that I can revamp it. I want that show to be the marquee attraction here on Big Dave is Cheap, and I want it to look like it should be the marquee. I want it to look like the flagship, right? What's the flagship? Like The Starship Enterprise is the flagship of the Federation. What does it look like? It's the biggest and most impressive ship that they have. If Devlog is going to be my flagship, then I need to make it worthy of that title. So I'm going to revamp the graphics. I'm going to revamp the presentation. I am looking currently to commission a, a theme song or background music for the show itself. I want to go all out on this because I think this is something that is worthwhile. It's something that I feel a, a certain level of passion about, and it's something that if I become known for anything in this YouTube game, this is a thing I want to become known for. I want people to say, that's that guy that does that show about development logs. That would make me so happy. And I want this show to be worthy of, of that marquee title. So I'm going to work to get that thing revamped and repackaged and ready to go. We'll do the 
uh, episode five recap, and then we will uh, launch episode six with an all new style, all new look, uh, tighter presentation, and hopefully, maybe, cross fingers, uh, an original theme song. So we'll see what happens there. That uh, definitely remains to be seen. To anyone who has made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Please hang with me here as we sort of get things going again, get things restarted. Thanks to everybody who has hunkered down with me as I have survived these uh, major life upheavals. This isn't some 17-year-old who's deciding one week he's all about YouTube and the next week he's not. This is a grown man who loves to do this, saying thank you so much for riding out the storm. And we are going on to bluer skies and better things here in the weeks to come. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.